Hey guys, I just wanted to do a little update and tell you about some of the gear I've been using and um, how my guns have been performing. I've had a lot of questions recently about uh, my new guns and how I like them and how they've been shooting and if have I had any issues with them. So first I'll just start off by showing you some of the gear I've been using. Uh, this is a Phobos holster. It's just uh, for range use, obviously not a concealed carry kind of thing. Um, I really like this one because it doesn't seem to wear on my gun or hug too tightly um, when I pull it out. And also, this is just a very comfortable uh, holster on my hip. I've had a couple of issues with some other ones, some larger ones, uh, wearing against my skin and it just wasn't very comfortable. But this is like kind of like a rubber and just really nice and easy to handle. Um, this is a Black Hawk double mag holster. It just clips on to your belt and um, you're ready to go. And holds two double stacked uh, mags. And these are actually my brothers. Corey has been wearing them a couple of times just to kind of test them out and see if it's something he wants to get. They are Howard Light amplified headphones our earmuffs and um, they seem to work pretty well. You can adjust the volume however you like and uh, it cancels out the loud noise of the shooting but you can hear voices pretty well. Um, some of my gear is, or everyday carry is uh, a little Swiss Army knife, a paracord keychain that I made, and uh, my mace and also another paracord bracelet that I made. Um, and now on to my Glock 17 Gen 4. Um, I've had several questions on how I like it and if I've had any issues with the spring or anything like that. And I did have a few issues with uh, stove pipes and just a couple and then a lot of brass in my face, and that was for about the first 400 rounds I put through it. Now it's probably coming up on six to 700 rounds and it seems to be performing a lot better. Um, right now I do not have an extra back strap on it. I did have the medium here. I have the medium and large. Um, the medium was just uh, almost still too big uh, when I would try to do speed reload so I'm right now have just the regular back strap on it and um, here is my customized pink Glock uh, side plate cover that my brother got me for Christmas that was a nice little gift and um, so as of now I seem to love absolutely everything about this gun it is shooting very very well uh, the only thing that I might do, only other thing I might do, is get an extended mag release because I'm having a little bit of trouble um, really just getting that mag out um, in a hurry, I, I guess I should say. But other than that, it is a great gun. It is performing much better than the past couple of weeks or so um, and seems to be doing very well. Um, also, regular, just regular ammo that we shoot is the Winchester in the white box, uh, 115 9mm. Um, but my home defense, I guess I would say, is the critical defense. And there's the box of um, what I have in here that, you know, just kind of sits. At home, I haven't shot any hollow points through it yet, but um, that's kind of what I've been using there. And obviously, these are just some cheap pink, of course, uh, earplugs that I've been using. Don't really like the earmuffs, they're just a little large for my head. Um, and my Walther. This is just a great little gun. It really is. It performs very well. Um, it's very fun to shoot, pretty accurate. Uh, if you know what you're doing, I guess. And the mag release is a little bit different. It's right under the trigger. The mag just shoots out of there like so. Um, it is a 10-round mag. 
which is kind of a pain. I wish they made 50 rounds for this one because it's it's a fast shooter. Um, the ammo that I've been using in that is the CCI. Uh, there's just 100 rounds in this little box here and the Federal 550 rounds. I've had this out at the range multiple times since I've had it and it seems that I can't even make a dent in the box here. <laughs> Anyways, there's just some cheap gloves with a little bit of grip on it that I and a little bit of padding that I've had out the past few times. It's been pretty cold. Um, I'm probably going to be getting some new gloves pretty soon. Maybe hopefully a little bit warmer. Um, so that's pretty much the gear I've been using. And uh, I definitely need to get a new um, belt that, <laughs> that works a little bit better and um, holds everything in place a little bit better. And another thing that I'm looking into is uh, my new uh, carry gun I guess I need to get. Um, my CCW will be coming in the mail any day now and for now I'll just have the Walther in my purse but um, definitely need to look into another smaller carry gun really thinking about the Glock 26, 27, or 30 depending on if I want the 9, 40, or 45. Um, so that's something that I'll be looking into and let me know if you have any suggestions or if you've had any of those weapons and uh, you can give me a little bit of information on it. I know Corey's owned a couple of them and says that any of them would be great. It's just kind of my preference on what caliber I want to be carrying and buying and shooting more or less. So I have a lot of options to think of and a few more things to get as far as gear um, to make carrying my weapon and handling them a little bit a little bit easier. So uh, there's my Glock 17 again and my Walther. I love both of them and I'm very, very glad that those are my first two handguns. Very thankful to Corey and my parents for getting those for me. So that's about it for now. Thanks guys. Take care.